Gregory Jones. Catholics around the world are offering prayers for Pope Emeritus Benedict. The Vatican announced today the health of the former pontiff has worsened, and doctors are closely monitoring the condition of the 95-year-old. The Vatican said former Pope was receiving constant medical attention. Pope Francis visited Benedict after announcing his declining health, then asked the faithful to join him in a special prayer for his predecessor, retired Pope Benedict, who he said was very sick. It's the very first time that the Pope Francis talked about the Pope Benedict like that, uh, using this word, uh, um, saying that he is very ill, so we can take it as a very serious alert. Here in Lansing today, Catholic leaders and parishioners took the time to pray for Pope Emeritus Benedict during Mass at St. Mary's Cathedral. Shamir Owen spoke with the pastor of that parish, and she's here for you now with why he says this rallying call is important. Sherry, back in 2013, Pope Benedict became the first pontiff to resign in 600 years, and since then he has just about vanished from the public eye. He stated that his physical and mental health prompted his decision, and since then, the 95-year-old German Pope Emeritus, whose real name is Joseph Ratzinger, has been living a quiet life inside the Vatican. During daily Mass this afternoon at St. Mary Cathedral, leaders led a special prayer for the former Pope. Reverend Karl Pung says that prayer is powerful in more ways than one. I think it's a great call for us to both remember Pope Benedict and the service he's had for the Church, but also just a reminder, we are one body. And our prayer matters, that we pray for each other. When those who can't pray for their own, they have all the rest of the body praying for them. And so I think it's just a great reminder of how big we are and how small we are, and that we're together united in a certain cause and a certain faith and a certain need. Reverend Pung also says that he and his parishioners will ask the Lord to console and support him as Pope Francis has asked them to. Sherry. Thank you, Shamir.